In this video, we will check how to configure OSPF using FRR, but I am using a single Linux machine. This is a single Linux machine. Inside that, running Docker images. The main Docker is FRR Docker, and I have created a setup like this. This is a setup. I have router 1, router 2, and router 3. Router 1 and router 2 are connected with ETH1. 2 and 3 with ETH3, ETH2. So to create such a connection, I already made a video. If you want that video, I will give it in the description. You can check how to set up this. So now we will check basic routing with OSPF. So this is router 1. Going inside FRR. But this is running inside a docker. This is router 2 which has two interfaces. This is router 3 which has one interface. So now router 1 is in 11 subnet. Router 2 is in 11 and 12 subnet. So now router 1 and router 2 we can ping because it is in the same subnet. Same way here also you can ping to router 3. But you cannot ping to 12 network from router 1. Because it does not know where to route the packet. Show IP route. You see there is no route for this. Same thing from here also you cannot ping to 11 network. Let's see. We cannot. So what we can do? We can add static route or OSPF. So I am configuring OSPF, conf t. So for that, I am just creating int hello loopback IP address 1.1.1 dot one dot one slash thirty two. Router two. Two dot two dot two dot two slash thirty two. Router three. So now, one from 1 to 3 also we cannot reach because we don't have a route. Even 2 will not be reached. So to achieve this, we will configure OSPF. For configuring OSPF, this is the command router OSPF. Inside that, actually it is not running because we need to enable it. So how to enable it is, we have to go to etc. FRR D1. See here BGP and OSPF. So I am going to run only OSPF. So put enable here. Same thing you do in all the other nodes because here also it should not it will not be that. You can see not running. So you can open this etc FRR D1. So go to OSPF D and you have to enable this. Same thing you can do here also. For demons. Sorry. So even though you enable, it will not work because you have to restart the FRR. The same command will copy in other two dockers. So here you can see OSPF is up. So you have this. I will configure OSPF router OSPF. Now we should give network 1.1.1 slash 32 area 0. Then giving ETH1's interface. 
Thin. Area zero. So now here, if you see, OSF will be started. It needs another pair, so that's why router OS pair network two dot two dot two to area zero. Then network dot eleven dot zero dot three slash sixteen area zero. So we're putting both in the same area. It started sending the packets. And here also we have to run router OSB network dot g dot three slash thirty two area zero. Same way network twelve dot zero dot three slash sixty area zero. Take some time. See here it has come up. Now if you see O two I P O S P F, you can see all the details. But actually, neither is enough. I want to see the route. So these are all the active routes. They are also established. Here also it has to come up. Yeah, here also it has come. Now you should be able to ping from post one to post three. So ping. First we'll go to two. Two is working. Three is also working. So we can even ping to twelve dot twelve dot zero dot the last interface side. Three. So this is also working. All these takes the path as this through OSP. Similarly, from here also we can ping ping to one dot one dot one ping to eleven dot eleven dot eleven zero dot two. Here we had two. Here we have three. So we are able to ping from center. Also, we should be able to ping from the middle node. Also, we should be able to ping to one, three. Then we should be always working. So it's already working. Then now we'll see the kernel routes. What all it has had. We can even see. Come outside of this and can give IP route. So here you can see two dot two dot two is reached using the proto OSPF. So these are all OSPF routes. IP route OSPF commercial. So IP route. Here you can see OSPF. Same way here in the kernel route IP route. So these are all kernel routes. Third round one round. Two OSP routes. Even in VTYSS, we have two IP routes. So all the routes learned through OSP. So this is how you can use a single node and run a Docker, and you can experiment all the different routing protocols. In the next video, we'll see how to configure BGP. Thank you.